Nanaimo North Couch. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I'm not happy to be able to, uh, to have to stand up and deliver this news to the legislature, but I am glad to be the one who gets to do it, and that is on the passing of uh, cycling legend Tony Hoare. Um, Tony was born in Elmsworth, Hampshire in 1932. In 1954, he rode the Empire Games, now the Commonwealth Games, in Vancouver, and he fell in love with Canada and vowed that he would return. Um, in the meantime, though, before he returned, he went on to win races in the Tours of Egypt and the Netherlands. He took uh, third overall in the Tour of Ireland and then was tempted or lured into professional cycling by an amazing 10 pound per week salary. Um, so Tony went on to be a pro cyclist and uh, the first British team riding the Tour de France in 1955 started with poor tires and ended with only two riders, one of them Tony Hoare. Him finishing last place the Lantern Rouge, which made Tony a famous rider. The Lantern Rouge being a very prestigious thing, believe it or not. And uh, Tony would always explain to people, in fact, he's the guy who spent the most time on the bicycle in the whole race. So he was a fantastic guy. He moved back to Canada. He started building uh, racing bicycles. He built the wheelchairs for Rick Hansen when Rick Hansen was a wheelchair athlete. He uh, went on to um, form, form Tony's Trailers, a business where he built trailers for homeless people. By day, it's a binning cart. By night, it's a tent trailer uh, for disabled people. He did fantastic things, winning awards for his designs, humanitarian awards, and serving so many people. Um, Leanne, my partner, and I went for a ride with him. First time she met Tony, uh, this is 10 years ago, so he was 77 years old. Um, and I said, you know, Leanne, she's a good cyclist. I said, you know, we should really be respectful of Tony going up the Malahat. And uh, sure enough, the 77-year-old Tony Hoare rode away from both of us. Um, he was a fantastic person, one of my heroes. And I deeply appreciate everything he did for cycling. Will the members please clap and celebrate the life of uh, Tony Hoare?